Welcome, Sagittarian. Oh, 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 Saggy. Sagittarian. What is happening, Saggy? Oh, my God, Sagittarian. All right, so you have um, three major, major arcana. Information is coming out, Sagi. Information is coming out. I see that you, Sagittarian, are going to be wanting um, to offer love so that you get out of a situation, but it's as if love is not going to be helping you. Be nice is not going to be helping you. A lot of emotional situation with managers and people in authority, Sagittarian. So the first or um, um, message that you're coming in is the air event. Now um, this is people in power, people in authority, and what is transpiring is that uh, a lot of you Sagittarians or um, um, who are in authoritarian position are going to be having some sort of a problem. Okay, some of you are really going to be having problems with people in authority. Or people in authority is going to be recognizing that some of you Sagittarian has gone over your bounds and has done things that was totally unbelievable. A lot of you um, Sagittarians are going to be having a lot of problems with people in authority. So let me give the good message for a lot of you before I get in the negative part. So let's do the positive thoughts. So I see a corporation institution. Eight, the number eight is an, 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 a situation that has been going on for a very long time, Sagittarian. And this is a deceptive play. People are now recognizing um, some sort of a deceptive play that you, Sagittarian, have created or around you or in your corporation. A lot of people are going to be recognizing some sort of a deceptive play. Some of you, Sagittarian, could be finding it out if you're working on a positive side. And I see love is going to be offered. A lot of you, Sagittarian, is going to be caught at something and trying to offer love. But this is not going to be helping because if you notice, um, that person closed, put their eyes over, put their hands over their eyes and is not accepting the kindness that you're doing for them. Because they recognize that you're trying to get back in good, um, in, in, in good, you're trying to get back in um in their good side and they're going to be recognizing no 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 because Sagittarian you went too far you went too far so um you know I don't know what is happening and transpiring um in a lot of companies uh, um some of you Sagittarian who are um in a management position management is going to be recognizing um that you have gone too far all right so for the rest of you and the positive side of this reader is about the rest of you recognizing some sort of a um, undesirable play. Truth is coming out. Okay, so if you notice, um, 88 is some sort of a cycle that has been going on. And a, a corporation institution is now going to be getting to the bottom and end it. Because now a corporation institution is recognizing what you Sagittarian have uh, um, could be finding out. It's like some of you Sagittarian could have been find uh, found out something, okay? And that is for the positive people, the people who are honestly working in a positive direction. That is for the honest people. But for the rest, where I recognize is that uh, um, some of you managers are going to be recognizing that there was some sort of a deceptive play, okay? You can see this in the energy of the cross where... Um, information, data and information is now light has been shed on some sort of a deceptiveness that you Sagittarian have done. And, uh, and and some of you have done it. Some of you are finding it out about other people. Okay, so recognize what is transpiring. First, let's look at uh, a lot of you Sagittarian dealing with authority figure. Okay, so be aware of that. Uh, and your bosses, okay? A lot of you are dealing with authority, authoritarian figures and your bosses. We have the Eight of Cups. What is the energy of the Eight of Cups, ladies and gentlemen? That is Saturn in Pisces, Saturn in Pisces. So any 
Anytime you see the Eight of Cups, the Saturn in Pisces, that means that a, some sort of a situation needs to be balanced, okay? Some sort of a discipline needs to be brought back in some sort of a cooperation um, because they're recognizing that this uh, um, organization, they're recognizing that things have gone array. Um, and when Saturn comes back in Pisces, is that a corporation is going to be recognizing that there has been people that are um, just um, having their own agendas. And they're going to be bringing this back to normal because uh, the energy of the hangman is here. And when the energy of the hangman comes up, the hangman is about a corporation is recognizing that there was some sort of a secrecy because um, it's Neptune. And Neptune is showing up the secrecy where people were using their own personal agenda in order to accumulate wealth. Okay, so you can see this. This is really the Eight of Cups is um, Saturn in Pisces, which is in the reverse. So um, managers and a, and a corporation institution, it can be government institutes, a corporation is recognizing and managers is recognizing um, that discipline needs to bring brought back uh, in a corporation because people were using um, their own agendas. Okay, people were using their own agendas, and Neptune is bringing out some sort of a information and bringing out some sort of a secret because whenever the energy of the hangman is in reverse, that means things that is in reverse is that is a revelation. So secrets is coming out about uh, some sort of an undesirable thing that was transpired in a corporation by a Pisces. It could be a Pisces that some of you, Sagittarius, is recognizing that a Pisces in a corporation have bro a broken rules, regulation, rules and regulation, and they're going to be recognizing this and finding data and documentation to prove uh, that this person has not been going by protocol, okay? And um, you Sagittarian is going to be showing this up and revealing that um, a Pisces could have broken a whole lot of rules and regulation in a corporation institution. As we look at the third week, what we see happening in the third week, a lot of you are dealing with our Targaryen figures, okay? And it's as if, if you are a manager or a boss, some sort of information is going to be coming out. Okay. So this Artartin um, figure have done something that was not above water. Mars. Okay. So Mars is the energy of managers, business people, um, directors, um, are going to be um, recognizing that the leadership in a corporation institution has gone to the dogs. It's as if the only thing was people on agenda and not um, complying with the rules and regulations. And managers are going to be recognizing this. So when you um, you think about the emperor, you know, the emperor is always about a manager, someone who has leadership qualities. So, um, they could be finding out that this person has not been doing their work in the right and proper way. Okay. Is, 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 um, a whole lot is going to be coming out where they're going to be recognizing that people were uh, working off their own agenda and not taking care of uh, the reputation of a company or an institution. They were just working off their own endeavor and it's accumulating wealth for all of a corporation the head of a corporation and not supporting the clients in a very positive way uh -huh. so a lot is going to be coming out where managers was abusing um their powers a lot is coming out where a lot of people are going to be recognizing how managers was abusing their powers so, the seven of cups is in the four week, the fourth week, and it's in the reverse. So seven of cups is a Venus in Scorpion, and this is what I said to you. A whole lot of you is that a whole lot of you, Sagittarius, is going to be trying to get out of a situation by 
showing love and affection um, to managers, okay? But they are no longer interested in this. They are looking at the situation and, and they're recognizing and looking at um, that their business, have, they've been losing on their business because uh, managers was not complying with the rules and regulation. So a whole lot of people are going to be on the eat because a whole lot of information is coming out. And it is not very positive because I see that because of friendship, because Venus is in, in Scorpion is Venus in Scorpion is showing up there. What there was there, there was a whole lot of friendship, a whole lot of network created by friendship. And this is why people were not going by rules and regulation because uh, they were all protecting each other um, in a situation. And you Sagittarians have been leading some sort of a friendship um, group, okay? So it's as if people in, in, in different places were connecting with friends and was creating some sort of an illusionary situation and um, working on your own personal interests and not on the interests of the company or the organization. They're going to be recognizing that. At the end of, uh, and so, you know, the, the, this um, Venus in Scorpion is not a good place to be because people are going to be realizing that it's friends, friends, friends. Uh, you know, other people were falling out of the boat uh, and only network and friends were moving forward where um the public the the public and the um and the clients and the customers were being treated unfairly and were taking advantage of this and a corporation and management is going to be coming down and is going to be recognizing and seeing the unfair games that was being played. Some of you Sagittarian are going to be caught up in this. I see some of you Sagittarian are going to be trying to show some sort of a, um, you know, love and that sort of a thing. And people are going to be like, no, stay away from me because you got me in so much, um, problems. And I see people are going to be shutting down some of you Sagittarian, not all of you because, um, um, the managers, the Sagittarian who are managers and, uh, are going to be working together with CEO, CFO, and changing the rules and regulation because they have recognized how they have been losing clients and business uh, that you, Sagittarian, have been creating some sort of a friendship network and that sort of a thing and doing things that was not above water. The Seven of Swords energy is here, and we all know that when the Seven of Swords energy comes out, it's about some sort of a deceptive play. And you, Sagittarian, was either aware of it or some of you had did it. So the Seven of Swords is, is, is about exposing a TEF in a corporation institution. So a TEF um, was exposed. Someone who had created a TEF in a corporation in, institution, this TEF was, is now out and they are now recognizing that there was secrecy the moon in Aquarian is about secrecy and the secrecy was that people were collaborating together and creating some sort of a network in a corporation and was uh, um, taking um, advantage of customers, okay? And managers and people in higher up is going to be recognizing the play that has been transpiring. So again, if you're a very positive person, an honest person that really um, don't break the rules, you're going to be good. You're going to be coming out good in this month. But if you are someone who has been breaking the rule, um, it is going to be coming out uh, that there was a theft in a corporation. There was a secret contract that was created. There was secrecy. Um, the moon in Aquarius is about uh, um, secrecy, theft. Uh, um, you know, people who were tricky, tricky, climate situation, tricky situation that was transpiring. And the truth is coming out because they're going to be recognizing this because you see the energy of the angman above that. So it's going to be coming out. So you Sagittarian expect to find out that there was a huge theft in your corporation institution and you need and, and, and it's coming out. Okay. 
um, people were keeping this on their wraps, but now it's coming out. A theft, a deceptiveness, uh, and a theft against humanity, okay? This can be a huge um, theft against humanity. So it's a theft against clients. Uh, um, clients were cheated out of a lot of uh, money and their assets, okay? Oh. Then we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is showing this up, okay? The Eight of Swords is uh, um, showing up. With this step, there could be some sort of an imprisonment that could be coming up, okay? So when the Eight of Swords comes in, is that you're releasing some sort of an information is being released to the public, that there was some sort of an unconventional situation, and that is Jupiter in Gemini, okay? So anything, whatever that was happening and transpired, when we have Jupiter in Gemini, we're recognizing that a lot of people were stealing from the client and, and, and pulling their pockets, and it's all coming out, and uh, I don't know if you Sagittarian did it or you Sagittarian is going to be showing it up, but it's going to be coming out. And I I see it's something that can no longer be kept because the secret is out. It's, it's that someone drop um this secret, someone let out the secret as to what was going on in a corporation institution and how the massive meaning the client, the customers were really the ones who were picking up um, because people had th their own um, personal agenda and was uh, creating contract things so that people couldn't understand what was going on. It was the contracts were not um, plain and straight. Um, people were being, um, you know, taken for granted where a loan would have been double the amount what these people have just for people to pocket a bonus and it's affecting you Sagittarian. So I did do it in the personal reading where, and I see that some of you Sagittarian are going to be, um, you know, I, things are going to be really revealed Sagittarian. There's no question about this. Things are really definitely going to be revealed. Whatever is happening and transpiring, revelation is coming up Sagittarian and uh, whether or not you are the one that is going to be revealing the situation it is coming out and it's as if uh, someone else reveal it and they're now looking at it and recognizing the truth so Sagittarian this is going to be a really really interested period if you are the one that is showing up the theft that was happening and how people and their personal agenda was really um, creating and taking from clients, so then it's going to be good. Okay. Um, so then you're going to be recognizing, but if it's uh, the reverse, I see you Sagittarian are going to be coming in some sort of a serious, serious problem. So. So I love you guys. Please show um, your love by thumbs up. Um, if you would like to see the extended of this reading, use the link um, to follow us to the other side. It's $1.99 per month. You will have an archive to look at uh, things way back. So you would have some sort of a knowledge of what was happening and what was transpiring. And you can compare things that happened last year and see what is happening because last year could be affecting you guys. It depends on your frequency in the archive, the readings are timeless. So if you have a question, you can, you know, whichever one that help, um, affects you. Um, there's so much in the archive uh, and it's just a dollar 99, ladies and gentlemen, um, per month. And you have so much, um, readings. These are all timeless. These, uh, or readings that is timeless. I gotta go show your loves. Now.